Pro from 9 to 2. We want to invite you to check out Lagoon Fest. It's along the West Palm Beach waterfront. The Lagoon, if you didn't know it, is a 20-mile-long urban estuary that runs from Boynton Beach all the way up to North Palm Beach. T.A. Walker, he's shining a light on a research vessel. So, uh, T.A., we know a lot going on. I do want to point out you've got some big trucks behind you, and we may see them dumping sand. This is part of Sandy Tree. To what I was going to talk about, but 700 uh, tons of sand, five dump trucks have come here this morning. This was the last one, we think, uh, to build Sandy Tree, and you'll be able to see that at the end of the month when the city of West Palm Beach debuts it. I do want to bring in Angela from Anjari. Uh, you're, you have a research vessel that will be at Lagoon Fest tomorrow morning, and you have lots of fun activities for the kids. We do, we do. So Right now, I'll show you Lagoon Drift. This is our citizen science drift card study. We do it twice a year, and the idea is to use members of the community to help us look at marine uh, pollution and transport within Lake Worth Lagoon and our local waterways. So uh, you, you put these cards in the lagoon, and when people find them, they're supposed to send them back to you. Exactly. So November, November 15th, we'll be at six different sites putting these in the water, and then we hope everyone will be out on the beaches, around the lagoon, on their boats, and uh, when they find them, read the instructions and tell us where you found them and send them back. And I decorated mine. It says Lagoon Fest, WPTV, return me, please. And then yours has like some I'm waves. more abstract here. Right. <laughs> and then I thought we could play prices right. One dollar, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to bring in <laughs> your friend, Sarah, who's at FIU. And there's going to be some shark demonstrations. Explain what the kids can do with the sharks. Yeah, so uh, we are going to be using our friendly shark here, Bobby, to show what we as scientists do when we capture a shark for our research. So we will have the kids help us out with our whole shark workup. So we take a bunch of measurements. The first one we take is from the tip of the nose all the way to just before the tail. So 41, 40 and a half inches or? So it'll actually be right here is the first one, oh, right, right before here. the Got tail, because we want to get three different measurements, kind oh, of the body. You're, you're doing you're doing metric. Let's I know. <laughs> three <laughs> feet and three inches. Three feet and three inches. Three, people have to understand what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> and then the fork length. So we get to the fork of the tail, and that's what the next thing we'll measure. So that's about three feet, eight inches. And then what is this right here? Yeah. And then the after we get all our measurements, we'll actually tag the shark. So we want to know if we or any other person gets the shark again. So we give it a nice little piercing. It has a specific number on it. And then it's tagged. And then that way, when we release it, we know if we ever catch the shark again or if anyone else catches the shark again. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Holly and Ashley. Lots of science fun to be had tomorrow morning starting at 9 o'clock along the West Palm Beach waterfront. And you could actually come back over here to Sandy Tree on the Great Lawn and see if they've made any progress from this morning. Yeah, it's going to be a matter of time before we see that tree starting to take shape. Love that the Lagoon Fest, is, it, it's so hands-on. Yeah, and it's a full day of fun, too. I mean, the kids will be entertained, beautiful weather, as we're hearing from Jennifer. Great stuff, TA. Thank you.